This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video, right? But what's the right question to ask here? So you probably clicked on this video thinking like, when am I going to know that I'm ready? Or when am I going to like feel that I'm ready? It might not be for the exam. You know, if you're taking the October SAT, it might not be for that exam. But when will I know when you're ready, right? Um, when I took my first SAT, I was definitely not ready. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't expecting to do extremely well. I was actually, I was expecting to do well, but I wasn't exactly with that mindset that I had prepared a lot. And I didn't score that well, obviously, because I never prepared. But on my last SAT, I knew I was ready. I knew I was going to get a near perfect score because of my preparation. So the idea is, you know, how do you get there and how do you get that kind of ability, right? This is just being ready for the SAT and hi, I'm Karthik. All right. So the idea is, is you've already put in the work, right? If you're taking the October SAT, 99% of all the work that you're doing, that's going to actually boost your score, you know, like almost all of it, there's pretty much nothing you can do in the last 24 hours, right? But the work that's ultimately get, that you've done, that's going to help you improve your score is finished. There's nothing more you can do. So there's no point worrying about that. You might be able to learn some concepts that you don't know in a couple of hours on Khan Academy, if there are some grammar or math concepts that you don't know, and that might actually boost your score. But I wouldn't recommend actually cramming that in the last minute because it's not going to help you, right? You need to prioritize your sleep and figure out how you feel about the SAT is basically going to determine if you're ready, right? If you feel very anxious, like you haven't prepared enough, then that's probably a sign that you need to prepare more for the November SAT. And I'll talk more about that and how seniors can actually use that in their early action and early decision applications, right? But it's normal to feel a little bit anxious, but you should be able to override that with the fact that you've been spending so much time preparing for it, right? That's the real ability to not be anxious and not be nervous or scared for the SAT is because you've prepared so much for it and you've prepared so diligently, right? For your next SAT, I want you to focus on this idea that, you know, obviously, if you're a senior, you could still take the early decision and early action deadlines, and you could t take the November SAT and actually have it apply for those, right? You can actually use that SAT from, like past Thanksgiving, right? And actually apply it to most early action deadlines because in the portal themselves, they allow you to submit it late, right? And if you're doing regular decision admissions, then obviously you can take December as well, right? And remember feeling the anxiousness that you have for this current SAT that you're taking there. If you're taking SAT tomorrow, do you want to feel as anxious as you are right now? Like, do you want to feel stressed? Like you can't take the SAT. Like you don't know what you're doing. Do you want to like feel that? And obviously if you're not feeling that, you know, good job. That means you put in the work, you've put them on the right amount of effort and you're going to do well, but you have like at least a month to change the outcome of this, right? Use this as a practice test, you know? Figure out how much time you have until your final, final SAT attempt date and, you know, use all the time that you have effectively. This should be a wake up call for you to be able to do that, right? And if you want help with that, I have a private community where I talk about things like this and I'm having a full on cram session, just discussing all the details and it's more a chill conversation so that, you know, we don't stress you out more, but we do things that are actually going to help you. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description. But I guess the main idea of this whole video is how do you feel confident during the exam? How do you know that you're going to do well on the exam? How do you like get that feeling of confidence? Because that itself is going to boost your score, just feeling confident in the exam, right? So how do we do that? Stop focusing on cramming on the last minute or studying any sort of concept. That's not going to help you at all, right? You should just focus on, you know, getting enough sleep keeping your peace of mind and knowing all the work that you did is actually going to help you, right? Because it is. Um, if it's your first exam, you always have multiple you can take. Literally treat this like a practice test. L treat it like a trial run because th there's no need to stress about it because you have so many more attempts, right? And if it's your last attempt, understand, well, first of all, you can take the November exam. Do that. It's even if you're a senior, right? But understand how familiar you are with the exam and how much like you are more prepared than almost anybody else taking it. That's a huge advantage in comparison to the multiple people that are taking it for their first time, right? Get everything that you have ready. What I mean by that is get the stuff that you need ready, pencils, water, snack, calculator, but that's, those are all physical things that you need ready. But you know, what are some other things, you know, like, um, is your bed made? Like, do you have food that you can eat in the morning readily? Like all those things you need to think about. Um, I want to end this with idea, you know, you genuinely got this regardless of where you are. If you feel you've prepared enough for you to haven't prepared at all, like you can still do well on the exam. 
by not cramming and not feeling overly anxious about this test, you're going to be able to do well as a result. You know, like you got this, like do your best, understand that you have more attempts in the future and understand you can perform better in the future with prep. Right. Um, if you're interested in SAT prep, click the link in the description because I only have a certain amount of spots left. And after those fill, I can't offer this anymore. So click the link in the description if you're interested. Thank you guys so much. Good luck on the October SAT. Let me know how it goes. All right. Signing off. Take care.